Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be taking a quick look at the upcoming Transformers Legacy Velocitron Voyager Class Road Hauler. The figure is a direct repaint slash minor retool of the Transformers Earthrise Grapple and is directly based upon an old e-hobby exclusive. And as far as the repaint is concerned, overall I think it's pretty nicely done, especially when we get into that awesome looking robot mode. Now as we take a closer look here at the truck, you can see that he has been primarily cast out of this wicked vibrant neon constructicon green really helping to set him apart from some of the previous mold mates and overall I think it looks fantastic as we take a closer look here at some of the details we've got a lovely gun metal for the front section as well as the Autobot logo and the entire window has been cast out of a very nice transparent blue plastic and the same can also be said here for these side view doors as we take a look at the side of the truck due to the much brighter color scheme it really does allow you to appreciate some of the sharper details of the sculpt such as all of these mechanical components the various different nuts and bolts and overall I think it looks awesome you can see some hazard strips here along the side as well as for the top section of the crane which too has been sculpted pretty nicely we've got this hook piece at the front as we take a look at the back section these hubcaps have actually been painted in neon green to match the color of plastic and overall I think it's a pretty close match as we flip here to this side basically more or less the same and he can roll exactly as you would expect with this piece being allowed to rotate the 4360 hinged up and down and you can also retract and extend the actual crane and rotate this piece forwards and backwards and if you're like me and wish to create for a slightly more awesome look you can take this massive claw accessory snap that there in to the front and even when in truck mode you can have road hauler taking down some of the decepticons with this enormous claw now as we take a look at some comparisons here we have hauler compared next to two of the other versions of the mold that i own that being grapple as well as inferno and kind of looking awesome they really do look like a big bright bag of skittles we've got this massive red truck the green and of course this really cool orange version now we'll set inferno here off to the side just as it is really these two that are direct repaints of one another exactly the same in terms of molding at least here for truck mode it really is just the colors of which differ and overall I'm actually quite torn as to which one I prefer I do think that this Constructicon green is just ever so slightly more appealing but yeah definitely really nice looking alt modes be sure to let me know down in the comment section below which is your favorite now turning to transformation, considering that all of these Velocitron exclusive figures come packaged in alt mode, we'll showcase just that, alt mode to robot mode. So to begin with, you're going to want to remove all of the accessories and just set them here off to the side. We can then take this hook piece, fold this section in and snap that there into place. Rotate this here all the way around, detach the arms from the bed of the truck, just hinge this entire chest piece forwards, split these, angle these sections down and then rotate here at the biceps we can then spin our attention here to the rear of the truck and detach this section and i am glad to be able to report that they have much like inferno modified the pegs so that they are a lot more shallow when in contrast to what we saw with grapple and have nowhere near as much possibility of breaking which i thought was a really nice touch we can then lift this piece up fold this section forwards to reveal the major selling point about this figure that being this wicked brand new head sculpt and then just collapse all of these panels in upon themselves to so snap that in there snap this section in hinge this up and over and then clip the neck brace into this top section we can then take this piece fold this down fold out the feet just straighten this guy out flip out the fists on both sides and there we have the Transformers Legacy Voyager Class Road Hauler fully transformed up into his pretty awesome looking robot mode. And much like when in truck mode, I really do think this is a great representation of that very old e-hobby exclusive. I really do think he looks great. Now, as we take a closer look here at the details, the new head sculpt is really what's selling it for me. I think it adds a ton of personality to this figure and I really hope to see more expressive sculpts implemented onto future Transformers, as at least for me, it creates for such a cool to look when in comparison to a neutral expression now i can definitely see how this won't be for everybody especially if you do just have hauler displayed in a neutral pose upon the shelf it's going to look slightly strange maybe that he's in pain or something's happening that you just can't quite see but as we take a closer look here at that sculpt work definitely does give you the impression that he's either yelling or perhaps is scared Whoa. and we've got a really nice matte black finish here to the helmet now correct me if i'm wrong but i do believe these are the exact same colors that you would expect from the toy accurate version of graphic 
apple and considering the head is on a mushroom peg I do think it's possible to remove this and swap it out with grapple it's something that I haven't as of yet tried as it does take quite a bit of force it would appear to pull this off but for customizers I do think it could be an easy job you can see some very nice skull work here around for this section and then as far as the rest of the body is concerned identical to grapple this time just completely cast out of neon green and overall not looking too bad at all we've got some nice gun metal highlights here at the top a matte black finish for these sections and then as we just work our way down to the lower section of the legs some nice green details black here for the shins and overall a pretty nicely done looking figure articulation is what you would expect so a swivel here at the head rotation at the shoulders hinge out to the sides rotation at the biceps hinge there at the elbow a full waist rotation the hips can kick forward to that far back that far out to the sides rotation at the thigh 90 there at the knee and the foot has a phenomenal range being able to pivot forwards backwards as well as of course rocking side to side primarily due to transformation now accessory wise this is where this mold has always shined for me we do get included this big grapple claw that we saw in vehicle mode so as we just rotate the fist in it will expose a port that we can just snap that into and at least to me that is just such a cool accessory you can definitely imagine this guy grappling down some decepticons we also do get included a blaster which much like grapple and i believe even inferno has been sculpted very nicely no paint on it sadly but not a bad looking sculpt and as we take this fist and reverse this in also we can bring in the additional hose attachment and these two accessories are personally what i love to display this guy with i just think they look so cool you can have this as an almost blaster or water cannon hosing down those Decepticons and then grappling them into place so that they're not going anywhere. And here for a very quick robot mode comparison, we have Road Hauler compared alongside both Grapple and Inferno. And much like in robot mode, these molds are actually quite different to one another. So we may as well set him here off to the side and focus on these two releases. Now to go back to my earlier point, in a sense, you could actually switch these head sculpts out. They are merely just held on via mushroom pegs and considering the details on the actual helmet themselves are a dead on match. I really don't think it would be a bad look by any stretch of the imagination. And as we just flip here to the side, you can certainly see the modification made to this tab. It is nowhere near as elongated as seen on the original version, and of course will then not be nowhere near as prone to breaking as we saw for this release. So I'm glad to see them make that modification, not only to Inferno, but also here to Road Hauler. Definitely be sure to let me know down in the comments out of these two, which is your personal favorite. I once again, I've got to give it props here to Road Hauler. I think that Constructicon Green looks fantastic and so some final thoughts for the transformers legacy velocitron voyager class road hauler as far as a repaint is concerned this guy's pretty nicely done certainly does match that old e-hobby exclusive and for those of you who are a fan of earthrise grapple then i think you're going to love what they've done here with this release personally i think the major selling point has got to be that brand new head sculpt i think it looks fantastic adds a ton of personality to the figure and when you're actually posing him really does just make it seem a lot more realistic it's something that i hope to see in the future maybe just the incorporation of swappable heads in general I think would be a really nice touch for the Transformers line going forward but I can see how it wouldn't be for everybody considering that it is drastically different when in comparison to your standard neutral sculpt and as far as this actual release is concerned I do think that this is sadly going to be the shelf warmer out of the bunch it's nowhere near as cool as the likes of the Black Convoy or Override even Blur to an extent and for the most part is just basically a direct repaint of a very niche character that was released quite a couple of years ago but I personally really like it i love grapple and i really do think road hauler is another great entry into this molds lineup i'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comment section below is this a figure you guys plan on adding to the collection and as always i thank you all so much for watching until my next review i'll see you then thanks for watching